Here we have the number 3.6945 and we're being asked to round it to three decimal places. Now to round it to three decimal places means starting from the decimal point count one, two, three and then put a line here. If I now round this to three decimal places you need to see what comes after the line. Five or more raise the score. So after the line there is a five, we need to raise the score, we need to go higher. Now imagine this as a whole number, 3694. What number comes after 3694? It is 3695. So this becomes 3.695. Now to round it to two decimal places, again from the decimal point, count one, two. So we need to put the line over here, after two decimal places, here. Put the line here, and then we check, we see what comes after the line. Four, five or more raise the score, four or less leave the mess. So this is less than five, this is four, so we need to leave the mess. So we just trim this part off. We have 3.69. We have, we have rounded it down. And then the last one, to one decimal place, so from the decimal point, one decimal place is here, so we put the line over here. What comes after the line? Nine, so I need to round up. Imagine this as 36, as a whole number. What comes after 36? It's 37, so this becomes 3.7. 3.7. So here we are, we are being asked to round 4.9996 to three decimal places. Well, again, three decimal places, so from the decimal point, one, two, three. So I need to place the line over here. What comes after the line? After the line, there's a six, so five or more raise the score, so we need to raise the score, we need to round up. Now, once again, imagine this as a whole number, 4,999. What comes after 4,999? It is 5,000, so this becomes 5.000. Now to two decimal places, again from the decimal point, 1, 2, so my line comes over here. What comes after the line? It's a 9, so I need to round up raise the score. Imagine this as 499. This will uh, The number that comes after 499 is 500, so this becomes 5.00. Now the last one to one decimal place, from the decimal point one decimal place is here, so we need to put the line over there. What comes after the line? It's a 9, so we need to raise the score, we need to round up. Imagine this is a whole number 49. What comes after 49? It's 50, so this becomes 5.0. Now, as you can see here, by imagining the numbers as whole numbers, it becomes a lot easier to round. Now, often I have students asking me, whether they have to leave the zeros. Is it necessary to leave the zeros here? Well, yes it is, because if we have rounded it to three decimal places, we need to leave the zeros here to show that we have rounded it to three decimal places. And the same here. Two decimal places, two zeros, one decimal place, one zero, and they're done.